Rico, you won Expert Investor Europe's uh, fantasy fund picking competition, realizing a phenomenal return of more than 25%. So, tell me your secret. First, I thought, well, um, I pick real fancy high beta stocks and go for the overall return. But then thinking about, okay, how should I do that? Um, I look to my um, uh, portfolio, um, all the funds we invest in for our clients, and I thought, okay, what are, are two, the, 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 the two or three funds um, um, uh, we like the most at the, at, at, at the moment, uh, or regions uh, we like the most at, uh, at, at the moment, mm -hmm. and um, try to construct a portfolio around that. Um, so that is what I basically did. Um, I started with overweighting US because that was uh, what we had uh, our biggest overweight at, uh, at that moment in. And um, then um, start thinking about sector exposure because uh, I thought, well, that's, that's maybe the best way winning a competition like this. And those sectors were financials, um, healthcare slash biotech, and IT. So what I have basically done is um, uh, I constructed a portfolio consisting out of two US funds and four sector funds. Well, uh, biotech was one, as you, as you just told me, was one of your overweights. Yeah. Um, American biotech companies have done amazingly well yeah. in 2013, generating average returns of more than 50%, which, well, took most uh, asset managers by surprise. Correct. How did you know what they didn't know? Well, <laughs> I didn't knew, <laughs> I didn't know it myself, but uh, actually, um, the, 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 the approach from uh, the Deutsche Bank Fund I have, they know um, uh, because they invest in cheap sectors that this was a cheap sector at that moment. Um, they were investing in healthcare slash biotech, so I thought, well, that's a good pick. So that's why I, I thought I choose for those, those healthcare and biotech stocks. Yeah. And then, then uh, because I didn't want to have only um, US biotech, I looked for a European biotech fund and um, a, a more global slash US based uh, biotech fund. Yeah. And did you have a general, yeah, because you're, you're very, you're highly invested in, in American stocks, not only in these specific sectors, but in general. Yeah. Um, so did you have a specific macro view on the US before you made this decision? Like what was, what was well, your we, we, we were overweighted for our clients in, uh, in the US. I thought, well, um, 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 put your money, where your money where your mouth is. So, so when I start constructing my portfolio, I do exactly what we do for our clients. So um, um, I look for an overweight in, uh, in US funds. Um, we, had a, we had a position in, in, in a Vanguard fund, um, US opportunities. I found this fund um, on a very early stage when only 118 million um, um, euros were invested in this fund. Um, we were invested in the fund when I picked it for this competition already for three years. It did very well over this, th these three years, so that was an easy pick for me to, to pick this fund. Mm -hmm. The other fund I chose was uh, a fund from uh, Nordea. Um, I met the manager actually at the conference here last year. I was sitting on, uh, with him on the, on the dinner table. He had a very great story um, about uh, value stocks in the US. So I thought I picked this, this fund as well. So that's what, that was um, uh, all about my US exposure. Um, and then, yeah, I, 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 I um, uh, picked the, the, the extra sector funds with it. Do you work with uh, model portfolios at Wealth Management Partners? We use um, uh, to have um, um, yeah, a, a, a list of funds we, we work with, uh, which we use in all of our portfolios for our clients, yes. So is the real return you, you realized with your portfolio, is it, um, how, how does it compare to the return you got in this? You realized well, this it, <laughs> it isn't as good as, um, um, uh, as, 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 as this one, because here I had an extra overweight to the healthcare biotech, um, um, uh, instead of what we do for our clients, uh, we, we don't have that much PDA exposure uh, over there. Yeah. But we had uh, a big exposure to this croaky fund I explained to you, yeah. so that, that, that returned uh, very well as, as well. So um, um, yeah, the return was good mm -hmm. and, 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 and above benchmark, so clients are happy. Do you still hold the, these funds? 
Uh, Crocky, we, we still hold. Um, the Nordea fund um, I actually bought into my portfolio. So uh, I replaced another US fund and uh, bought this one. So I have that, that one as well. The Vanguard fund I explained to you, um, uh, we sold that um, um, a few weeks ago because this Vanguard fund um, um, has a big overweight in IT and biotech as well. Um, and we are, are thinking that the, the, the run in biotech um, um, got too far, so uh, we thought it's, it's a good moment to take profits on that one.